Hey, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a PayPal sandbox account. Now, unlike Stripe, where uh, you can just create your uh, live account and then under that you will find your sandbox or your test credentials, PayPal is different. Uh, for PayPal, you need to have a separate uh, sandbox account. Uh, which is different from your live account. So you have to create that separately. You cannot uh, find that under uh, your live account. So let me show you how to do that. Now, um, this is PayPal documentation uh, and it will tell you exactly what you need to create a sandbox account. But because uh, there is so much confusion around how to do this, so I'm just going to walk you through the steps here. So you need to be logged into your PayPal live account to create a sandbox account. So first log into your PayPal account um, and then visit developer.paypal.com site uh, to create a sandbox account. When you visit that page, you're going to uh, see an option to create a new sandbox account and then just click on that to get started. So just fill in the details on this page to create a PayPal account. And uh, there are two types of uh, PayPal sandbox accounts that you need to create. One is a seller account, which is a merchant account, and the other is a buyer account. You need to enter the seller account credentials in your SPC settings page uh, under sandbox uh, PayPal settings. And you need to use the buyer credentials uh, when you are actually making a test purchase using PayPal. So you need to have both of these types of uh, accounts uh, in your sandbox to uh, use them for uh, testing purposes. Now let's first go ahead and create a buyer account. So first enter the email address that you want to use uh, for your buyer account and uh, then enter a password here. Enter your name and um, enter a PayPal balance, whatever number you want there. And uh, you can just go ahead and create the account. That's it. These are the steps to uh, create a buyer account. Now it says processing and uh, it should complete soon. Now let's go ahead and create a seller account. So just click on create account again and this time select merchant account, enter a different email address to use as your uh, seller account and enter a password. Again your first name, last name and PayPal balance and just go ahead and create the account. That's it. These are the steps to create a buyer and seller account. Now let me show you how to get the credentials from your seller account and enter how you can um, enter them in SPC settings page. So the next step is to visit sandbox.paypal.com and log in there using your uh, seller credentials. So enter your uh, email, your password that you uh, use to create your uh, PayPal sandbox seller account and log in. That's a lot of money in my sandbox account. You can enter whatever amount you want and it's going to allow you to enter that. So that's why it's showing um, this amount here. All right, so next visit uh, profile and settings under profile and uh, there you will find your API keys. So here under my selling tools, API access, click on update and under NVP SOAP API integration, click on manage API credentials and you can get your credentials from there. So you can do click on show and then copy these credentials into your SPC settings page. So let me show you where you can enter this. So in SPC settings page under sandbox mode tab under PayPal, enter the PayPal API username password and signature in these three fields. And after that, you need to enter your merchant ID and let me show you where you can get that from. So in your PayPal profile page under profile and settings, um, under my business info, you're going to find your merchant account ID. So you can get the API keys and all that from my selling tools and you can get your uh, merchant ID from my business info page. And uh, just grab this from here and copy that in your uh, SPC settings page under merchant ID field. And uh, after you enter your merchant ID in SPC settings page and the username password signature, the only thing left is the PayPal business email. So whatever is your seller account email, enter that here. That's it. So make sure all of these fields are filled in and then click on update. 
uh, and then you will be able to use PayPal in sandbox mode for your testing. And there's one last thing you need to do. Um, this is required for subscription products. You need to enable uh, IPN, which is instant payment notification in your PayPal settings. And uh, let me show you how to do that. So in the My Selling Tools page, under Instant Payment Notifications, click on Update, and there you can enable uh, Instant Payment Notification and enter the URL. So let me show you that. So here, click on Choose IPN Settings and make sure to enable this. So you can say Receive IPN Messages, and this one should point to your uh, DAP site. So whatever is your DAP site, so for example, this, slash dap slash dap dash paypal dot php so this is the script and then just click on save and uh, that's it and in spc if you have created your payment buttons and uh, you want to test uh, in sandbox mode before uh, turning them live then make sure that under sandbox sandbox is turned on and then uh, you can actually test purchases using your paypal sandbox account and you can use your uh, buyer credentials uh, to log into PayPal and test. And once you are done testing, be sure to turn off sandbox and turn on live mode. And that's it. Uh, hope this answers all your questions uh, related to PayPal sandbox and how to enter sandbox credentials in SPC and how to use uh, your buy buttons in sandbox mode. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.